58 House Democrats have recently voted to advance articles of impeachment. Impeach him first and then indict him. Yes, the president, a sitting president, can be indicted. Even if the president were to somehow find some way to terminate Mueller, the, the indictments would continue to grind. You could impeach anybody on anything. Uh, you can try and indict. He is not functioning as the president of the United States. Frankly, if he ever gets indicted, he'll have insanity as a defense, <laughs> I suppose, from a criminal charge. Um, but it, it, it's hardly, you know, this is a serious matter. You're starting to hear people talk about the possibility that Donald Trump leaves office in two years and then finds himself in the crosshairs of these New York prosecutors. This sitting president can and should be indicted. President, there for sure is more than likely going to serve some jail time. It's clear that Trump is the target and he'll be indicted eventually. Uh, on the day Donald Trump leaves office, the Justice Department uh, may indict him. Now there is talk of jail time for the president. That Mueller could indict the president for obstruction of justice. Donald Trump should be indicted for calling a cooperating witness a rat. He should have been indicted. A sitting president can be indicted by the Justice Department. Why aren't we at the target, Trump, having committed crimes to get the presidency. So why aren't we at an indictment yet? I think there's generally consensus the president has probably committed indictable crimes. It's very strongly in favor of indicting the president when he is out of office. That there may be enough evidence to indict Trump. Is Donald Trump going to be indicted? Maybe it'll happen. Maybe he'll go to prison. I, you know. Will he ever see the inside of a prison cell? DA could get a ham sandwich indicted. Oh, hey, listen. Trump's the Big Mac. Even if Donald Trump himself is not ever indicted, there is another way that prosecutors can actually indict the entire Trump org. We hope uh, that the Attorney General sees the importance of moving ahead uh, with this indictment, moving ahead with locking Steve Bannon up. The whole enchilada, the whole company indicted by next week. Why not pursue it? and see what happens. Merrick Garland, if you indict Trump, you'll be my person of the year, yeah. of the decade. The only thing worse than indicting him would be not indicting him. Would be folly not to indict them. Donald Trump is an ordinary citizen and is committing crimes right now. I like the idea of Mark Meadows going to jail for the rest of his life. But I still think that the committee has laid out that the person on top of all of this, in charge of all of this, doing all of this, was Donald Trump. I think now for him not to indict, frankly, would cause this country more harm than even if he indicts and there's a hung jury or not a successful conviction. I think there should be no case in which they wouldn't indict. I don't think we should be treating him the way other ex-presidents were treated. I think the extent of what Donald Trump's done is so egregious that no attorney general, uh, no fair-minded attorney general, would have any choice. According to The Atlantic, Garland is preparing to indict Trump despite moving at the cautious pace of an institutionalist. The only reasons Trump hasn't been indicted by now is because he's a former president, and because he has hand-picked judges on his side. Accountability for some people means that we get a pound of flesh from Donald Trump and that he ends up behind bars. Don't you think it's about time for special counsel Jack Smith to just indict Trump? And would such a move take Trump off the campaign trail? Is this the charge you would want him to be indicted on? Would a January 6th DOJ indictment or, say, a Georgia election interference charge carry more weight?